Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for, payroll manager. So, let's get started. Question number 1, what is the upper limit of fair pay? The answer is, the lower limit of the fair wage is obviously the minimum wage, the upper limit is set by the capacity of the industry to pay. The concept of fair wage is essentially linked with the capacity of the industry to pay. Question number 2, which factor influences fair pay? The answer is, factors that influence fair pay are Prevailing rates of wages in the same occupation Prevailing rates of wages in the same region or neighboring areas Employer's ability to pay Question number 3, what are the advantages of a time rate system? The answer is, the advantages of a time rate system are Convenient in the modern factory system Support from trade unions Avoids quarrels among workers Question number 4, what are the advantages of a piece rate system? The answer is, the advantages of a piece rate system are Increase in production Better utilization of equipment or machines The distinction between efficient and inefficient Less supervision required Effective cost control Better planning and control Question number 5, what did the subsistence theory illustrates? The answer is, the subsistence theory illustrates that any increase in the wage rate above the subsistence level would induce an increase in the birth rate and therefore in the supply of labor. Question number 6, which wage theory is also called the iron law of wages? The answer is, subsistence theory is also called as iron law of wages. Question number 7, what does the marginal productivity theory of wages focuses upon? The answer is, the marginal productivity theory of wages focuses on net addition or net subtraction made to the value of the total production of a firm. Question number 8, what is the maximum bonus as specified in the Payment of Bonus Act, 1965? The answer is, as per the Bonus Act, 1965 the maximum bonus is 20% of the salary or wages. Question number 9, what is the first step of job evaluation? The answer is, the first step of job evaluation is the preparation of job descriptions. Question number 10, what do you understand by payroll management? The answer is, it consists of maintenance records for and controlling basic pay, eligible allowances, increments, gross emoluments and deductions for income tax, provident fund, ESI, other recoveries to be made from each employee, including the maintenance of attendance and leave records. It also ensures proper compliance with applicable legal requirements under the PF Act, ESI Act, Income Tax Act, etc., to avoid facing penal consequences. In that, the management of payroll ensures correct deductions made and pay bills of employees and timely remittance to the government and other authorities. Question number 11, what is payroll accounting? The answer is, calculations of employees' salaries and tax deductions are all involved in the payroll accounting. The activities such as preparation of tax returns, maintaining the payroll records, etc., are also undertaken. Question number 12, please list the major modules of the payroll management system. The answer is, major modules of the payroll management system are Employee profile Leave management system Time management system Payroll management system Employee transfer, promotions, and increments HRD procedures Income Tax Management TDS Reports like the ESIC and Provident Fund Statements and Challen, Government Forms, etc. Question number 13, what do you understand from the word payroll? The answer is, as far as the payroll management is concerned it is the detailed document containing the details of the salaries, wages, bonuses and deductions as well. Question number 14, what is a payroll card? The answer is, this payroll card is more like a card that is a plastic card that lets the employee access his or her pay through an ATM. It's more convenient when compared to the check casher. Although if you will use the payroll cards more than once at some ATM then you will be charged extra money. Though as time passes by then you will definitely find this method to become more common and cheaper as well. Question number 15. What does pay frequency mean? The answer is, pay frequency is the amount of time between an employee's pay days. It determines how often you pay employees. There are four pay frequency options, weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, and monthly. Question number 16. What do you mean by vouching? The answer is, vouching is a process of checking the authentication of the voucher maintained by the management with the respective supporting document. 
Question number 17. What monthly reports do the payroll provides to the Department of Accounts? The answer is, when preparing the payroll every month the Accounts Department should be provided with information such as the status of the employee as if he is permanent or on a contract or in probation attendance and if there are any bonuses to be paid to the employee. Question number 18. What are the steps involved in executing payroll? The answer is, steps involved in executing payroll are. First step is, onboard employees. Second is, define your payroll policy. Third, gather employee inputs. Fourth, validate employee inputs. Fifth, calculate payroll. Sixth, disperse employee salaries. Seventh, pay statutory dues. Last step is, distribute pay slips and tax computation sheets. Question number 19. Can you state the benefits achieved by a computerized payroll system? The answer is, computerized payroll system avoids the most common human errors by implementing a system that requires present data and automatic calculations. Payroll computation tends to be more accurate. Payroll can be done on a timely basis. The number of employees being processed will no longer be a problem. Question number 20. How can the scope of internal audit help you? The answer is, it's an independent appraisal function entrenched by the management of an organization for the review of its internal control system as a service to the organization. Question number 21. In an organization what are the general deductions made while processing the payroll for an employee? The answer is, general deductions made while processing the payroll for an employee are Income Tax Provident Fund, PF Employee State Insurance, ESI Professional Tax Question number 22. What is the exemption limit of gratuity? The answer is, the exemption limit of the gratuity is 10 lakh. Question number 23. What is a payroll policy? The answer is, a payroll policy describes the payroll process as it covers the administrative part of the salaries, timesheet, approval and rejection policies, payroll schedules and payment methods of the employees of an organization. A payroll policy covers the payroll processing services provided by payroll, the legislative requirements which must comply with and to determine the employment status of workers. Question number 24. What are the responsibilities of a payroll manager? The answer is, the role of the payroll managers is compiling the payroll data, verify time and attendance and process periodic transfers of pays to different accounts. Question number 25. What are the three must-have skills in a payroll manager? The answer is, the three must-have skills in a payroll manager are Attention to detail Proficiency with payroll software Good command of mathematics Question number 26 is accuracy important for someone handling payroll activities? The answer is, if we analyze there are so many calculations one has to make while processing the payroll, so, even the slightest of inaccuracy can mess up an entire payroll system. Thus, accuracy is very much important because of the amount of money involved. If payroll personnel do not pay attention to what money is going where all accounting procedures go erratic. Question number 27, brief the computerized payroll systems. The answer is, it includes complete employee information including loans, reimbursements, income tax management, pay structures and salary slip generation. Since everything now is computerized. So, it is easy to handle calculations and manage printing activities. Question number 28. How different is a payslip from a paycheck? The answer is, payslip is a slip that contains all details of the employees like total wages, deduction details, tax cuttings and the like. While on the other hand, a paycheck is a certification that the employee has earned a certain amount and can cash it from the bank. Question number 29. List few factors which influence wages. The answer is, many factors influence wages and salary, such as the company's ability to pay, supply and demand of labor, the cost of living, job requirements. Question number 30. What is included under fringe benefits for an employee? The answer is, Fringe benefits for an employee are monetary benefits that include Provident Fund Gratuity Medical Care Health and Group Insurance Subsidized Canteen Facilities Recreational Facilities Question number 31. What are perquisites for an employee? The answer is, the perquisites for an employee are special benefits offered to executives for retaining them and usually include Company Car Club Membership paid holidays, and furnished house or accommodation and stock option schemes. Question number 32. 
Describe non-monetary benefits. The answer is, non-monetary benefits are benefits that provide psychological satisfaction to employees and usually include, recognition of merit through certificate, offering challenging job responsibilities, promoting growth prospects, comfortable working conditions and job sharing and flexi time. Question number 33, what is internal equity under job analysis for payroll? The answer is, internal equity is a method for payroll determination involving job analysis by basing the compensation strategies on the organizational hierarchy and it uses job ranking, job classification, level of management, level of status and factor comparison. Question number 34, describe external equity under job analysis for payroll. The answer is, the external equity is a method involving job analysis for payroll and in which market pricing analysis is performed. The compensation strategies are influenced by the competitors or industry standards. Question number 35, how will you perform job evaluation for determining payroll for a post? The answer is, job evaluation for payroll involves, having clearly defined and identifiable jobs which are evaluated as per the agreed job evaluation scheme and gaining an understanding of the job. It is the objective evaluation of the job. Question number 36, differentiate amongst job analysis and job evaluation. The answer is, job analysis is a comprehensive process while job evaluation is a comparative process. Job analysis is done to prepare a job description and job specification. Conversely, job evaluation aims at implementing an equitable and justified wage system in an organization. Job analysis is the first step to job evaluation. Question number 37, what is UAN in payroll for India? The answer is, UAN expands to universal account number and is a single ID for employees enrolled in EPF accounts so as linked multiple member ads allotted by different companies in their career. An employee can view details of his or her all EPF accounts. Question number 38, what are the EPF forms a company in India submits or prepares? The answer is, there are many EPF forms for a company and usually includes EPF Challenge before 15th of every month. Form 5, for new employees joined that month. Form 10, employees leaving that month. Form 12A, monthly return form. Question number 39, what are the documents usually needed for registering under the ESI scheme in India? The answer is, many documents are needed for ESI scheme registration that includes registration certificate, under Shops and Establishment Act or Factories Act. Certificate of Registration, MOA or Partnership Deed. List of employees with their monthly compensation. The Bank Statements. PAN Card. Address Proof of the Business. List of Directors and Shareholders of the Company. Question number 40, what factors influence competency-based compensation? The answer is, factors that influence competency-based compensation. The complexity of work as resources needed difficulty in doing the job. The breadth variety of the employee's assignments and impact on the company. Question number 41, what is the BARS method of performance appraisal? The answer is, BARS are normally presented vertically with scale points ranging from 5 to 9. It is an appraisal method that aims to combine the benefits of narratives, critical incidents, and quantified ratings by anchoring a quantified scale with specific narrative examples of good, moderate, and poor performance. Question number 42, what is internal and external equity? The answer is, the internal equity method undertakes the job position in the organizational hierarchy. The process aims at balancing the compensation provided to a job profile in comparison to the compensation provided to its senior and junior levels in the hierarchy. In external equity, organizations formulate their compensation strategies by assessing the competitors or industry standards. Organizations set the compensation packages of their employees aligned with the prevailing compensation packages in the market. Question number 43, which assessment type will measure an employee's mental abilities? The answer is, cognitive ability tests will assess the mental abilities of the candidate. Question number 44, which online service is used to conduct live video interviews? The answer is, many tools can be used for conducting live video interviews. Skype, Google Meet, Zoom, Microsoft Teams. Question number 45, how will you manage conflict amongst employees over compensation in the company? The answer is, conflicts regarding compensation in a company need to be analyzed for its root cause and meeting with conflicting parties or individuals needs to be taken based on facts and figures for resolution. 
Depending upon their concerns, future compensation can be negotiated and clarified. Clear communication to employees regarding compensation, perquisites, and benefits should be developed by sending details on the joining or promotion of the employee. Question number 46, what are payroll source documents? The answer is, payroll source documents refer to those documents that give all the details required for the generation of the salary of an employee. It includes timesheets, job sheets, time recorders, payroll registers and pay and slip, payslip. Question number 47, how do you avoid payroll errors? The answer is, to avoid payroll errors, we must ensure that all employees' details are correct. Track leave start and end dates. Calculate at the end of employment for holidays accrued. Review reporting process for instance filling up the annual reconciliation form. Be updated with changes and new rules in payroll tax rules. Should ignore payroll requirement deadlines for instance paying withholding, payment summaries to the employee, etc. Ensure the correct employer premiums are taken out if insurance is covered. Question number 48. What is CTC? The answer is, CTC refers to cost to company. Cost to company includes all types of costs related to an employment contract and covers all compulsory deductibles like deductions for provident fund, medical insurance, etc. All these deductions form a part of the compensation structure, as you do not get them as a part of the in-hand salary. Question number 49. How do you deal with absenteeism and late coming to work? The answer is, create an employee attendance policy. Enforce your attendance policy consistently. Keep track of employee absences. Address unscheduled absences and no-shows immediately. Don't just treat the symptoms, discover the cause. Don't forget to reward good behavior. Question number 50, what all is required to remunerate a new employee? The answer is, to remunerate a new employee following is required. Filling employee information form, bank confirmation slip and get your employee to complete a tax form. Sending all forms to the payroll department at least three working days before the employee's first timesheet is due to be sent for payment. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.